Yeah, I I always wonder about, you know, the doctors tend to have like a very linear thought process when it comes to disease. And I, I'm starting to feel like we need more nonlinear conversations, you know, um, like for instance, the, the topic of inflammation always comes up, you know, um, and it, it's because I talk to doctors across specialties, I hear a lot of themes and I'm like, okay, well, there's a lot of um, conversations around inflammation, but it almost feels like the inflammation is the the topic of inflammation. I don't know how inflammation maybe plays a role in your work, but it's almost like that's secondary, but it's part of some of the most common denominators, yet it's it's always kind of discussed and analyzed from a secondary perspective. Um, and so I'm, I'm wondering, you know, it, it feels like some of the some of the factors that lead to the disease end up in the background, mm-hmm. um, which feels like it creates a blind spot for treating the disease because you know we're kind of coming at it head on instead of like looking at it from a bird's eye view. Um, I don't know if you have any thoughts about that, but I. Well, I think I think inflammation is has become much more prominent in discussions uh, and. Uh, so I, I think that's changing, and I think the role of inflammation in developmental malignancy. I mean, we never used to talk about that that I remember. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's always kind of with autoimmune disease or infection. So I think that I think that is changing in in the milieu of of uh, looking at how cancer develops. So I'm hopeful that that won't be secondary, and that'll move up to a more prominent role. Any um parting words for um practicing clinicians as as we wrap up our interview? Well, I hope that they're as excited as we are about uh, the improvements that we've made in the treatment of uh, of ALL. There's some other types of ALL that have also, for example, blinatumumab, have changed the landscape um, and now made what used to be one of the worst types of ALL, you know, one of the better ones. So I think just for them to keep abreast of of these uh, changes as best they can, I certainly admire the community oncologists who are trying to keep up in treatment of multiple tumors. Mm-hmm. So just to keep those in mind and try to keep abreast of the the new developments and and uh, you know be aware of them and either have them help in their management of patients or help them know when to mm-hmm. refer to a let's say a subspecialist. Perfect. Well, this has been a great conversation. Thank you for for sharing your time with us. It's been a pleasure having you. Well, thank you. It's been an honor to be here. Thank you.